Palomares lies on Spain's southwest Mediterranean coast. It's a sleepy little town, always has been. People here farm or raise animals. And increasingly, they cater to tourists. The beaches are, for the most part, unspoiled. Sounds like paradise. And it would be, except for this. That's a radiation monitoring device on a fenced-off piece of contaminated land in Palomares. On January 17, 1966, four American H-bombs fell on the town by accident. They fell after a B-52 bomber collided with a refueling tanker overhead and exploded. Two bombs busted open on impact and spread a bunch of plutonium over a wide swath of farmland. About 100 acres are still contaminated. You can't grow food there, build there, or even walk there. Carlos Sancho is with Spain's CIAMAT, which is like our Department of Energy. He says the remaining plutonium here doesn't pose a threat as long as no one disturbs the soil. The U.S. did clean up here right after the accident. It was a huge operation. 6,000 barrels of contaminated soil were shipped to South Carolina for storage. People always knew some plutonium remained, but pinpointing it was the tricky part. Now Spain has identified where the remaining plutonium is, mapped it out in 3D, and it's given that map to the U.S. Spanish journalist José Herrera says it's clear what has to happen next. Under international law, he says, whoever contaminates must clean up the mess. Though the area in question is relatively small, townsfolk say the fallout is damaging to Palomares' public image. Deputy Mayor of Palomares, Juan José Pérez, says the people in town live in uncertainty. Is this ever going to get cleaned up, he asks. If you were looking to buy a place to live, would you choose our town, knowing the problem we have? The U.S. government says it continues to discuss the Palomares cleanup at the highest levels of government, but that no definitive solution has been reached yet.